a very special Meals in a Rush guest, John Reeves. Look at him cook. Go, boy, go. This morning, he's showing Tanya how to whip up a brandy cream sauce. Sounds delicious. I hope there's extras. The full recipe ahead and how John found his way to the Colorado and Company kitchen. All right, next, Miss Tanya Rush. When Colorado and Company returns, she's going to have Meals in a Rush. She's joined by a very special guest, Chef John Reeves. Today, Tanya is taking a break from cooking, and she's going to let John actually dish up some delicious fillets in brandy cream sauce. Ooh, that looks delicious. Keep it here. Well, from time to time during Meals in a Rush, Tanya Rush is joined by a guest chef. Today is one of those days. Tanya is in the Colorado & Company kitchen, and she has John Reeves. Tanya, what's cooking? Yeah, I know what you're going to say. You've been eyeing this brandy over here, but we're going to have you taste test a little bit the whole meal. Yes, I have a special guest chef, John Reeves. He found his way to our kitchen thanks to his wonderful wife, Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. <laughs> she placed the highest bid at a silent auction for Meals in a Rush. You get to come into our station, also cook, teach me a few lessons. It's all to support Children's Hospital Association of Volunteers, and this was at their wine auction event. Now, your wife was kind enough to do this. And by the way, this guy is a ham. He's been entertaining <laughs> us behind the camera. But why you? You must be the chef in the house. Well, I'm not. Yeah, I'm You're maybe, a chef. So Let's call you a chef. I'm yes. not a trained chef, but I love to cook. And I've read a lot and do a lot of stuff, and I really enjoy it. And, and so I cook it at every meal. Every meal? Yeah. Kathleen, she's like, yes, he does. <laughs> and your cooking, your love of cooking actually had a fiery start. <laughs> you got to explain that. Well, when I was, oh, in the uh, ninth grade, we went to New Orleans. We went to a nice place called Antoine's, which is still there. And they did a Cherry's Jubilee, and they streamed it across the table with the brandy on fire. And so I came home, uh, and the next celebration at our house, I decided to do the same oh thing. Oh, my gosh. Try Cherry's Jubilee flaming across the and dining you, room table. But everything was safe. Everything, we ended up From safe, but we had a few holes. <laughs> and then since then, you just loved it. Even in college, you, you cooked for all the guys. Cause they're, well, what was their idea of a meal? When I was in college, in grad school, my two roommates' idea of a, a gourmet meal was chunky soup on rice. <laughs> and you said, no I way. I said, no way. No way. So. And by the way, we have a Wyoming tie. Yes. Miami, Wyoming, UW. I'm from, from Cheyenne, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Went to the UW. All right. And you're from Thermopolis. And he knows some Thermopolis, <laughs> yes. Well, what do you have here today? I know your wife told me that this is one of her favorite meals that you cook. Basically, what I'm cooking is a filet um, of beef. And I am actually taking it, and it's going to go be sautéed, and then um, actually put a little brandy in here. Oh, it smells delicious. And now we nap it with a brand the brandy to kind of get it going so the flavors come out with the brandy. Then what we'll do is move that away and um, take it off. We'll put some pate on it, some mushrooms, put it back in here and make the cream sauce as it comes through. It takes about so 10 great. minutes. It's real easy to make. Guys can make it. Um, and anybody can make it. Anybody can make it, but if you want to treat somebody special at home or something like mm. that, you can actually... Oh step up to the this plate. This aroma. And is this your own creation? I mean, do you like to cook and kind of mix things together? Or are you a recipe guy? One tablespoon of this, two cups of this. I read a lot of cookbooks and then do whatever I want to do at that point. Yeah. I've cooked this meal so many times that I just kind of wing it. And then it's fun because it's fun cooking in the kitchen. Do you get right. very creative and kind of, well, maybe this time I'll try this or take out that. <laughs> right. And then right. Kathleen, the wife, gets to sample right. And, right. and thumbs up. And She's definitely the wine sampler and the food taster. What a rough job. <laughs> I can't even imagine. And family recipes growing up. Do you remember you're a southern boy? Yes. My folks are from the south, and my father actually came to the University of Wyoming from Tennessee. And... Uh, he grew up in a, his father owned a chicken house at that time, uh -huh. and we actually ate fried chicken almost every Sunday. I mean, it was all the time. Now, are you still a fried chicken man? Or I like fried chicken, but I've, living in the West all my life, yeah. you kind of gravitate to the beef and the lamb and some items like that. And this auction item that your wife was the highest bid on for this wine, for the Children's Hospital at the wine auction, what, right. um, what do they do? What is their association with, with the community? 
Well, the Association of Volunteers for Children's Hospital is a very large organization. It consists of children, um, teens, also uh, volunteers. There's probably 4,000 volunteers. And these volunteers actually do anything from sorting toys to rocking babies mm -hmm. to uh, helping um, kids play games together to doing all kinds of things and on a volunteer basis. That's so great. it's a fun scenario and a real nice uh, job. Well, I'm glad so. that we could help here at Colorado and Company of Meals in a Rush. And the sampler is coming in, and that is Miss Disney's plant, and Yay! she's going to actually try. <laughs> and this We've is made, a, this is a final made the one first right there. One over there. Okay, okay. Well, I'm going to just give this to you. Here, I'll bring it over to you. Yummy! Oh, this looks delicious. Do you know, I've been smelling this all oh. morning long. <laughs> Kathleen, come I don't on. know why I'm the blessed yes. one that gets to sample it, but thank you. There come you over, wife. We have so to show much. a beautiful wife. Come on in. Yummy. Thank you so much, and all you do for Children's Hospital. It's so and there you have it. Smells delicious. Do you want me to read and you You're going to have to. So okay. Like, well, if you'd like John's oh, recipe, that's really is good. it really good? Mm -hmm. Send me an email, and that's to Tanya at mealsinarush.com. And next week, I'm going to be back, and actually, we're going to be doing table settings. You're going to be off, though. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do fancy table settings. And then the next week when you're back, I'm creating a turkey gobble cake. Oh, I want to try that. It too. actually looks like a turkey. It's very cute.